Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to, to our session today. Um, I want to welcome uh, Prof. Munoz from all the way from the Technological Center for Furniture and Wood of the region Murcia in Spain. So uh, please note that you have 15 minutes for your presentation and five minutes for your Q&A. But can you please turn on your camera while you introduce yourself to the audience and we like to uh, just take a quick photo together before you start with your presentation. Um, okay. I can. Uh, are you talking already or not yet? I cannot I, hear you. Yes, I'm talking. Are you listening to me? <laughs> yes, now we can hear you. Thank you. Okay. Yes, good, uh, good, morning. good morning. Good morning. Okay, so you can start with your presentation. Thank you so much. Okay, I think that you are seeing my presentation, so I will start just right now. So first of all, thank you so much for, for inviting to me to present today. It's a pleasure for me. As, a, as a Anki mentioned, I'm Almudena Mino. I'm a project manager in a research center in Spain, concretely its name is TEDEM. And I'm also here to, to present one of our projects, it's a European Social Fund project, and it uh, has the main objective of trying to boost green and digital skills in people. So I will present this project New Ecosmart today. So let's uh, move the slide just to uh, so, so you, um, this is the, the, out, the outline of my presentation. I will go for the, um, for the introduction of the project, later on for the methodology, later on I will go for the toolkit, and finally I will go for the ecosystem evolution and the conclusion of, of my presentation. Just starting a short recap of the contextualization. As you know, after the pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic, we see that there was an acceleration of the digital transformation. Also, we see that in general society, but also companies are growing the awareness of circularity and sustainability. Also, European policies and strategies are trying to boost this digital uh, the skill and literacy. So, and also we see that uh, in some part, Euro, uh, rural areas in general are being neglected in comparison to urban areas. So based on that, uh, on all this context and the different situation, uh, we create um, this project, New EcoSmart, that is a pioneering initiative that tries to revive rural areas and empower adult plus 45. Uh, SMEs and also microfilm through social innovation and also toward the green and digital transition. And also we try to promote the entrepreneurial uh, social skills. Our project, the full name is New Circular and Social Responsible Business Model with Inhabitat Sector to Revitalize Rural Areas. It is starting in August of 2023 and we will end next July. Regarding the, the partner, as I mentioned before, here is the team that is the coordinator and the organization where I'm working for. Also, we have the town hall of the ECLA, the cluster of um, uh, Muebla in Spain. Later on in Portugal, we have Adelo, Sign, and also we have CETIC in Spain. And in Italy, we have TAPES and UNINA, the University of Naples. Regarding the methodology of our project, we work in six work packets. The first one and the sixth one are the transversal project management and communication. But later on, we have like four main technical part work packets. The first one is this related to the co-design of social innovation maps uh, methods. The third one is related to the digitalization toolkit, this uh, preparation. The fourth one is the piloting and the fifth one is ecosystem evolution. Just to show you that um, in general, the, our main objectives or goal are to try to establish a, a huge next community presented in different regions and also to try to go 
partly in more ecosystem than Italy, Spain, and Portugal. Also, the development and the deployment of the digital toolbox, the social experiment, and as I mentioned, the ecosystem evolution at scale hub. But I would like to just to focus my presentation of today on the, the, the tools, the different tools that we have available for you. So let's move to that, to the new EcoSmart Toolkit. It is um, made up by four action or four tools, the green and digital diagnosis tools, the mod platform, the micro learning app, and a toolbox. Regarding the green and digital tool, it is a questionnaire. It is about, uh, it has around 40 questions from digital and green aspect. And this question wants to measure the skill and knowledge and the attitude that the user has toward digital and green transition. In general, you answer the, the question and the result offered to you four levels of competencies, foundation, intermediate, advanced, and highlight specialized. So based on that uh, level, it's offered to you some recommendations. How you could improve their digital and green skill. Depending on the level, you will have more basic things or even a more higher technical and advanced um, suggestion. That is how it seems. You can see in the left side of my screen the, the skill, the, sorry, the question that you have. And later on, you have the final script in the right side that uh, allow you to see um, your level and also the recommendation behind in the report. You can find here the, 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 the uh, QR. Uh, sorry, Omudina, sorry that I'm interrupting you, but no the slide is not moving um, as you are oh. talking. So, yes, so sorry. Uh, one of our participants also, there you go. Thank you so much. Now it worked? Yes, it, it um, changed now to the slide with the, um, yeah, okay. with the QR code on. Okay, yes. I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. But anyway, it was more talking than now that you could see. So uh, I will go back a little bit here because you could see the, you could see the, um, the images that I mentioned, the questionnaire here in the left side and also in the right side we have this final script with the competencies level and behind the report that will support you and give you some recommendations. So uh, let's move off the slide. This is the, um, the QR to allow you to participate and to see what are your skills in green and digital aspect. Later on, we have a mock. Mock is, uh, you know, if a massive uh, platform, an online platform that is accessible and flexible and will provide you a course to focus on environmental consciousness, sustainability, and also digital and entrepreneurship. Uh, content. You could hear how it's worked and how it's seen, but the important thing is that we have the same for level uh, basics, uh, intermediate, advanced, and, and expert for each of our main skill, digital, green, and also inter entrepreneurship. So you could choose in uh, the models and the training that you consider better according to the self-assessment or even according to your opinion or your needs. Also, the, you could see here some of our models and our content. For example, in basic one, we have efficient use of resources. In advanced, we have circular business model. Or even in expert, we have use of technology for green transition. If we, move, if we move for digital or soft, we have other like introduction to digital transformation industry for auxiliary technologies or project management and networking in the um, soft skills. Again, we have everything available. We have in, in four languages, English, Spanish, Italian and Portuguese. The, 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 this mod platform is open 24 hours, seven days. You can register in the QR or even in the link that I put. So you are more than welcome to go inside. You will see some uh, presentation, very in visual presentation, and later on also some uh, interactive activities that will support you in this, uh, in this um, learning experience. Later on, the micro learning app that we have, uh, we have created a dynamic and personalized uh, learning journey through uh, high 
pre-gamification training session. That means that we have everything, uh, we have everything um, in a gamify, in a sorted questionnaire, and that support to you to try to learn more. You could see here, for example, one of the questions, apart from the question that will support you if you, you have the correct or the incorrect answer, after the after replying any question you have sometimes more information more links or any extra feedback that could support you in in try to understand why you make an incorrect answer for example again everything is uh it's available you could go and check everything in our website and also this in you could it's important to say that even it's a mobile app you could go in the browser of your internet uh, computer and also work on that and the last one is the complementary tool books let's say that uh, this tool books is a recommendation of project you could see here that we have like a uh, eight projects and these projects are already developing by other organization but we consider that the content that they are uh, working on are quite important to, imp to increase your green digital and entrepreneurship skill. For example, inside projects related to the uh, to industrial symbiosis, FAR 360 is related to circular economy, Priority 45 tried to boost the, um, the skills of uh, adult plus 45 years old. So they are different platforms, they are all available and we suggest to you to go in deep and find more information to increase. Let's uh, say also that uh, at all the tools that I am presenting today of, of our toolkit are available already, but in any way we are going to create a first pilot. So in case that you want to test with our rules and with our advice, in November we will start with the pilot. So at the end of my presentation you will see my email in case that you will be interested you could participate, it will be done by you online and in your own, so you will decide when you could participate or not, because there will be like around two or three months to do. In addition, we will prepare some online webinar and you could participate there, they give your opinion and, and enrich your, your knowledge. Also, the last part of my presentation will be to, to show you our ecosystem evolution and how we are trying to scale up our project and this is with an open call as you know open call is to try to an opportunity to other partners out of our consortium to try to contribute with an idea solution etc in our case what we want is to go uh, uh, to go to our pilot to implement and to increase this green and digital um, and soft skills with new solution so we have created this call. This call has been published at the at the end of September, that, and we have like around fifty thousand to support and to give budget for projects that want to go further and support our new smart project. So, in case that you have any idea, in our website everything is available, and you could apply because everything will be due online. So you didn't, or you don't need to be in Spain, Italy, or Portugal. So in case that you are interested, the deadline for application is um, December of this year, 5th of December. Uh, and just to mention that uh, eligible participants are any legal entities. It is supposed that they have to be from eligible countries, but they are not only European member states, there are also the other countries that are listed in the eight countries. And as you know, um, uh, South Africa, for example, is included. Let's say also that who are excluded are consortium of, of persons that are, are requesting double funding or any kind of association or interesting group. In, but in case of any doubt, you could contact us and we will solve your doubts about the legibility. So just to finish and be on time, uh, for conclusion, I would like to say that, uh, as I mentioned, our project tried to revitalize rural areas and empower individuals, especially plus 45 years old, SMEs and microfilm that used to have more problems in the capacitation and the learning and also in that uh, twin transition. 
We try to include, make also inclusive social innovation, equipping everyone with the necessary skills, and also we try to be uh, to, or to contribute to the European vision of being resilient, digital debt, and also environmental conscious. Um, this is our website, our social media, and my email. You could see here, and I'm also going to, to put in the chat. So I thank you so much again for this opportunity to present today. I think I'm on time, more or less, so I will give the floor for your question, for your comments, and for everything. So thank you so much for your time. <laughs> Thank you so much um, for your presentation um, and for finishing in time. I don't know, um, ladies and gentlemen, any questions um, from the floor? You can just put on your mic if there's something that you want to ask. It doesn't seem as if, if there's anything from the floor. Um, I just want to know how do you engage with local communities to prom uh, communities to promote participation in this project, and how do they react on it? Thank you so much for your question. Well, first of all, what we are doing is to to go and uh, and check. Uh, what are their needs since the beginning? Mm -hmm. So we got we make a first contact saying, "Hello, we are here. This is our project. Uh, would you like to? What are your problems? How do you mm -hmm. think that this project could support them?" And after this first contact, we start also to checking with them their gaps, their needs, and we are go organizing local meetings uh, mm -hmm. every three four months. So we are presenting the project. If, obtaining their feedback and also trying to redirect the result to their really needs because uh, with this kind of local um, local projects it's very important to have the end user all the time mm -hmm. in the first focus because if not you finally the result will not be implemented mm -hmm. yeah no, but thank you so much for an insightful presentation. I think that uh, green and digital skills is for all of us very important. So um, with that, ladies and gentlemen, we came to an end for today's uh, presentations. Um, I, want you, I want to ask you, please do not miss the day one closing. Um, as you um, can see in the chats, Palisa has already posted there. There's some prizes, surprises to, to, uh, in the Kumu space where we are going to conclude today's session. So thank you for attending today and we will see you there. Thank you so much.